Hey everyone, welcome to this week's episode of the Amazon Files brought to you by Mommy Income. I am your host, Kristen Ostrander. Happy 4th of July, everyone. Happy Independence Day for the wonderful US of A. I love this day. I love what it represents. I love the fact that we live in the land of opportunity. And I thank all of the previous and current service members who have made this possible for us. I know freedom ain't free and it always costs a sacrifice of someone's time, energy, and their lives occasionally. And I'm grateful for that. And I'm grateful for where we live and the opportunities we have to do things like online business, the freedoms that we have with a computer and the internet and how we can become free on our own and free financially by building ourselves businesses. So I'm so, so grateful for that. I'm grateful for you and what that this represents to us in our great and wonderful country that we live in here. And I am uh, proud to be American. I'm thankful to be American. I'm thankful for the opportunities that we have to grow our lives any way we choose. And that is an amazing blessing. And it's, it's freeing to be free and free to be who we want and where and how. Um, I know that it costs a lot for that to happen. So thank you all who have ever participated in um, our US military or anyone that supports that because um, it's very much needed. It's why we get to do what we do every single day. So much love, much thanks, happy birthday America and uh, Independence Day that we have here um, celebrating. I hope you have the greatest time, but today we are going to talk about the holidays. Yes, this is a holiday, but there is a huge holiday season coming up and I am all about wholesale for the holidays. So if you didn't know, I'm teaching a live class on July 12th at 7 p.m. Live class, wholesale for the holidays. What to sell, where to get it, how to get it, how to get it into Amazon on time and in full so that you can experience the Q4 holiday selling season this year, wholesale for the holidays. And this episode is all about not making some of the mistakes that people make and preparing for Q4 right now. So yes, it is July 4th. Happy July 4th, red, white, and blue, everything, but pretty soon it's gonna be red and green, everything, or black and orange, everything for Halloween. And we need to be ready as retailers. So while we are celebrating America's birthday today, we are also getting prepared for the holiday season. And so if you have never been through a holiday season on Amazon, woo, buckle up, you're ready for a ride. But I want to invite you to come to the class, the live class next week, July 12th, uh, mommyincome.com forward slash holidays, register for the live class. I don't teach live classes very often um, just because I'm busy with my hubbers. Oh, by the way, with the hubbers, a membership group that we have, the Amazon Files Hub. If you are a hub member, you get to come to Wholesale for the holidays for free. Yes, it is part of your monthly uh, group coaching and training that you have in your membership. And so y'all don't even worry about registering. Watch your inbox as a hubber. You'll get a free link. And for the rest of you, you need to come to the class. I want to teach you how to prepare for Q4 ASAP with wholesale. Yes, because it's not too late to do wholesale for the holidays and you got to get your stuff in. And with 153 million Prime members in the U.S. alone, you are fishing in a very big ocean with a lot of customers. You want to be ready for the holidays, what to sell, where to get it, how to get it wholesale, what the timing is in order to send it in, all of these things. Plus, there's going to be an amazing opportunity for something I've actually never offered before. And it's so off the hook that I can't even tell you about it here. You have to come to the class and as a participant in the class, you will only the participants in the class will have access to this special bonus that I have going on. And it's really just exclusive because it can't be for everyone. It can only be for the people that are going to take action on it and do it. And the people that are going to show up to the class, take the class and then get this extra. It's going to save you a ton of time, a ton of energy, and you're going to love it. But it's only for people that come to the class. So you've got to mommyincome.com forward slash holidays and come to the class. I can't wait to see you next week and answer your questions. It's live. You're going to be able to grill me on all the holiday stuff so I can help you with that. So if you want to know Q4 strategies, a plan, holiday action calendar, all of the deadlines that you need, um, and 
just maybe something that will save you hours and hours of research. Oh, you want to come to the class, mommyincome.com slash holidays. Okay, how to prepare for said holidays. That is today's episode. And the first thing that you need to do to start preparing for the holidays right now is advanced inventory management and planning. You cannot sell what you don't have. And in order to make enough money and in order to have enough inventory for Q4, you need to have money to purchase that. My suggestion is capitalizing on Prime Day. So that's midsummer. That's an opportunity to hugely boost your sales so that you can have extra capital to spend on Q4 holidays. But make a plan to make extra money or save some extra money for Q4 because you will sell through more volume most of the time in Q4. Unless you're selling things that are completely off season for Q4 and then, you know, selling different things to supplement that. So make a plan to have make or save extra money. But another thing is take advantage of wholesale terms and dating wholesale terms and dating and not not like the tinder kind of dating but dating like the um terms so for example there i order my holiday items from a particular vendor and their invoice i do not have to pay that invoice until december 10th that is called post dating or dating for holiday inventory they know people are strapped and they have to buy regular stuff and holiday stuff so they try to offer you to pay your bill later well guess what you can do with dating you buy the stuff in july it delivers in august you put it on the shelf in august and september it sells you can make more money buy more stuff and sell that before you even have to pay your bill and then if you pay your invoice with a credit card you have 30 more days to pay for that inventory interest free. So, and then you can earn perks and rewards like I do on my Capital One so that I can get all my travel stuff for free. I put inventory on invoices and then I pay the invoices with the, the credit card and then I pay the credit card with the cash. So it buys you time, but it also can get all kinds of rewards and benefits. The trouble comes in when you don't pay those off. So I do not recommend that. I am very, very disciplined with how I handle my numbers and I don't have the business debt that some that's too scary for me. It's too risky. I don't like debt. I like to pay things that I can pay things and just make more profit. Choose more profitable products so you don't have to worry about, you know, spending dollars to make dimes, right? So if you are not disciplined with credit cards or invoices or anything like that, I don't recommend it. But if you are, it's a great way to take advantage of not having to pay for holiday inventory until later on. Use dating. Ask them if they have terms. Even 30 day terms would be better because then you can do the same thing and buy, you can always get an extra 30 days if you pay your, an invoice with a credit card. So it's just helpful, but don't go chasing it around all the time. That is, you know, that's a different episode. <laughs> okay, and do not neglect, when it comes to inventory management and planning, do not neglect your evergreens and your replens. When there are more shoppers, those things sell well as well if you have stock of them. So plan for a little bit extra. Plan for a little bit extra. I would say 10%, 20% increase. Uh, what's the worst that could happen is that you just have extra stock and that's okay. So just keep in mind that you can keep it at your house, but have it on hand. Or if you have like a, wherever you, I know I don't recommend doing, especially if you use a prep center, I don't often do this, but the prep center will hold things for me for a short amount of time and send in a little bit extra. And so that you have it. So if you sell out of your replens in the middle of Q4, that you don't have to go through that ordering process, that you already have some extra, um, maybe another 30 days extra, because you never know. Some years are up and some years are down. And although there's inflation and things like that, people still spend really, really heavily in Q4. They might reduce their spending through the year, but like, oh, we'll save that for Christmas. We'll save it for the holidays. You know, if my daughter wants something big, I like mentally start making her Christmas list. She's like, oh, she'll walk walks through the stores or something and be like, oh, I want that. Or I'd love to have this. Okay, I'm making a mental list. I'm not going to buy it now, but you know that. Like, so that's what people do when they have cutbacks as well. Is they save it for the holidays. So stock up. Okay, number two thing you need to do to prepare for the holidays right now is pay attention to create listing creation and shipment timing. The busiest month for us as far as preparation, ordering, receiving, processing at the at the prep center is July. July and August. Because we're sending in Halloween in July. We're sending in Thanksgiving in August. We're sending in Christmas in September. Sometimes before. 
So the reason why we're sending it in is because we want to create our listings and we want to get that 30 day period where it's like, you know, like if you listen to a couple uh, episodes back when um, Stephen Pope from my Amazon guy was talking about the honeymoon period of a launch. Well, if you are bringing a new holiday product to the table, it is a launch. And so you have this launch period to get started where you don't want to be too far out. You don't want to launch Christmas in June, maybe. But if you launch it in September, people are already starting to look. So you will get some traffic and some sales to where if you're launching a Christmas thing in May, you might be hard pressed to get traffic and then you're losing indexing and ranking. So you want to be close to the holidays, but not so close that you can't uh, grab the algorithm and have it index and rank you for those keywords. So getting your listings done and in and on early is really important. So do it early. Create new bundles early, order early. We've already ordered all of our Halloween. It's going to be delivered by next week. Thanksgiving and Christmas, New Year's Eve, things like that. Ship same day for retail arbitrage. Get your stuff in. For retail arbitrage, shop more often and ship new shipments as soon as possible. Ask the stores. This is how you prepare though. Ask them in advance. When do your product trucks come? They'll tell you. They're like, oh, we get trucks on this day and this day. Go later on in the day. If you go on two, they say, well, we get our trucks on Tuesday. A lot of times it's in the morning, but it takes them all day to pull the stock out in stock. So I would go in the evening of the day they get the trucks or the first thing the next morning. Be there when the fresh stock comes in so you know what to do and you can grab it. Um, Another thing. Oh, yeah. FBA warehouses are overwhelmed July and August. Smaller shipments will help faster processing ship in case packs now for you guys that don't have um you don't know what case packs is or you're not sure if you're shipping in case packs a case pack can be anything greater than two like two or more as a case pack so if you have say 10 retail arbitrage bundles that you put together tell them it's in a case pack of 10. you know why because it's faster you know why because they ship it to one place and then that one place can scan that one time faster more efficient means more profit on the shelf faster more profit in your pocket faster so case pack your items um, if you have more than two and you know smaller shipments get checked in faster so send in smaller shipments more often okay and the last and final way to get prepared for Q4, because I don't want to take up all of your 4th of July. You guys got things to do, right? So I'll um, keep this brief today. But the other thing I want you to prepare for Q4 is selling boring stuff. Now, I know that that's not like, oh, my gosh, there's so many cute things for the holidays, blah, blah, blah. But honestly, I call them rusty trustees, you know, like the ones that although it's not fun or it's not exciting to sell Christmas tree stands or like um, specific boring stuff that isn't that cute or trendy or anything else that people are constantly buying um, Christmas tree stands or like white lights. Actually, they'll sell year round or Christmas lights of some sort at different ones, um, basic wreaths that people can dress up because people like a wreath that then they can put their own bow on it or they could, you know, do something like that. All the boring stuff sell boring stuff cords extension cords um you know things that have to do with outdoor lighting and you know repair kits for those lawn blow up things i guess that's like a thing now because those things can get ripped and then people want them to still hold the air so there's repair kits i know this is a new thing i just learned of stop chasing the hot trends stop there's hot trends every single Christmas season. And there's always that one thing that people are waiting around in line for. And like years ago, it was like the speak out game. And then it was fidget spinners, the TikTok leggings, trends. They come and they go so quickly. So people, so many people get stuck on these. There's plenty of profit in other things. Don't chase the trends. They're unpredictable. Shiny objects won't pay the bills long term. For those that are just enamored by that, I'm going to say it for you again. For the people in the back shiny objects won't pay the bills long term look for steady consistent products if toys aren't your thing stay out of the zone don't worry there's plenty of stuff to sell sell boring stuff like white socks (laughs) you know like boring everyday things that people still need or you know clothing people are always buying new clothes for like new events and things like that um halloween costumes it doesn't have to be the latest trends i mean princesses and star wars and superheroes sell all the time year round it's dress up it never goes out of style you know stuff like that so you can trust the steady eddies the trusty rusties you know it's just like okay yeah we know this works and it's not sexy it's kind of boring but it is what people are buying on this time of year you don't have to jump into trends you don't have to jump into zones that you're not comfortable with stay in your lane right for a while because you're better in your lane 
You don't have to learn all kinds of new niches. Now, I encourage you to always be learning, you know, 80-20. Do 80% of what you already know and good at and 20% of your time, money, and energy learning something new. 80-20. So Q4 is not the start time to start learning some stuff. You learn it on the off season. Q4 is when you just go in and rake in the dough. Be prepared in July. Plan ahead and do your research. Now is the time for research. So take your laptop, your tablet, or your phone to the pool or the beach and do a few minutes of research. Learn something and then get on with your life. Don't let fear stop you. It's a great time to test new products from a season. It doesn't mean you have to learn a new niche. You just need to test test some newer products. Many people who aren't normal, average, everyday shoppers on Amazon are shopping in Q4 for uh, the season. Most things in sell, you sell in Q4. Most things do. And my stuff increases even though it's not Q4 like related. It's not holiday related. So if you want to know more about wholesale for the holidays, how I do wholesale and bundling for the holidays, where to, where to get the stuff, how to order some wholesale, some amazing things are happening in the live class, mommyincome.com forward slash holidays. That is their three ways to prepare for Q4. I hope that you come to wholesale for the holidays next week. Again, mommyincome.com forward slash holidays. I want to see you in the live class. I can't wait to help you prepare for Q4. And in the meantime, have a wonderful, happy summer. Have a happy 4th of July. I know you all could be anywhere else doing any other thing. Thank you for listening to the Amazon Files podcast and supporting me and my family. I don't take that for granted. I appreciate you. I love you. Happy birthday, America. Have a wonderful day, everyone. We'll see you same time, same place next week on the Amazon Files.